Tuesday, coming to you live from Cologne in Germany. Hope you are having an amazing Tuesday. Uh, this is episode 148 of Fraser's live show every single Tuesday night at 9 p.m. UK time, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I go live bringing you a how-to training on network marketing on, on the 150th episode in just two weeks' time will actually be the last one that I do. So mark your calendars. It's going to be special. Uh, it's going to be Tuesday, the 3rd of March at uh, 9 p.m. UK time. And I'm, all, I'm also going to be launching the second book in the series. This is I Dare You, The Ultimate Guide to Building Your Network Marketing Business Using Social Media. The second one called I Double Dare You comes out. So before I get started... In the description somewhere, I never know if it's like down here or above there or like right here, I don't know. Um, there'll be a link. If you're someone who knows you're going to get yourself the copy of I Double Dare You, do yourself a favor, click that link when we're done with this live uh, and that will actually put you on the first to know list uh, and you'll most likely hear about the book and how to buy it about four or five days before the uh, book actually gets launched to the public. Now, here's a cool thing. The first 1,000 co copies of I Double Dare You will actually be signed and numbered. So you'll, you guys will be the first people to know that. So hey, everyone who's joining in, as always, if you're watching on the replay, do me a huge favor and comment replay. And if you're watching on the live, let me know. <clears throat> let me know what your favorite takeaway is. Like, is it Indian, Chinese, fish and chips? I know we've got a lot of health and wellness people on here, so it might be a salad, right? Like, but what kind of salad? Let me know. I, I'm a big chicken tikka masala Indian takeaway food fan, but I decided to go gluten-free in 2020 and probably beyond. Uh, I've seen massive benefits so far, which has been really, really cool. But yeah, so I've kind of shifted gears to Poke Bowl. Big fan. Like, it's amazing. If you've never had Poke Bowl, give it a go. All right, so... You've made note of the Tuesday, the 3rd of March, 9 p.m. UK time. It's going to be the last ever one. I've got big things expecting. You know that that link, you can click somewhere to be the first person to know about the new book, I Double Dare You. Uh, now I'm going to get into some tips on how to become a top recruiter in your network marketing business. So instead of me giving you the things you need to do, I'm actually going to look at it at a different angle. I'm going to talk to you about the things that you should not do. Now, word of warning... I'm here, the whiteboard's here, you're there on the camera, there, where I'm, point, where I'm pointing to now, about 10 feet away from where I am, is the football game. Liverpool are playing against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League final stages, and we are losing 1-0, and the second half is literally about to kick off. So if I kind of do this, and I go nuts, that might happen, uh, you might find it frustrating, annoying, or you might enjoy watching me kind of celebrate, I'm just very passionate about Liverpool Football Club. Alright! If you do get value throughout this live, do please feel free to share it with your network marketing friends and family. I do really appreciate that. And let's get into this. So I've got 19 different things that you shouldn't do, right? And a lot of the time, these are like your landmines. Imagine if you're stood at the beginning of a landmine field and you don't know where the landmines are. The only way you can cross it safely is by following someone who knows the right way to go. Right, and I'm going to be that person who's going to guide you through. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! And you're going to be able to get to the other side. Sometimes succeeding is learning from other people's failures. All right, and I've failed a lot in network marketing. Like I have failed a lot in network marketing. But the more you fail, the more likely you are to succeed. Go and ask Richard Branson, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates how many times they failed in their life. Go ask the owners of like the founders of KFC and Subway Sandwiches and McDonald's how many times they've failed in life. I guarantee that the number of failures they've had is more than the number of successes they've had. And I'm going to guarantee that almost everyone who's had a success has had more failures leading up to that as well. All right, let's go. Okay, number one, don't be weak or desperate, right? Network marketing is amazing. Having goal pressure is different to financial pressure, okay? I always say that desperation... You okay? You want some water? You sure? Okay. Um, I always say that desperation leads to frustration, or frustration leads to desperation, which leads to network marketing castration. And guess what? When you're castrated, you can't duplicate, right? You can't build something when you are, are um, you know, you're desperate. A lot of people, they kind of go, oh, I really need to make money fast, otherwise I'm going to lose my home. Okay, well, network marketing, it, maybe you can use that hunger and desire you've got, but don't let your desperation make you build it. Otherwise, you're going to be saying like, join my business. No, okay, get lost, 
right? It doesn't really work that way. Okay, number two, don't be afraid to do the thing, do things a little bit differently to what the old methods are. So if the old methods are, right, you, to lead, do your lead generation, you need to get leaflets printed and you need to put them through the letterbox or you need to get postcards and you need to put them in the car window, car windows and you need to join a gym and, you know, go on the treadmill and when you're running next to someone who's a little bit overweight, say, hey, mate, you need my product. Look at me, I'm fantastic. You're not. Like, no. Okay, you don't be afraid to do what's in my first book I day. Don't be afraid to use social media. Don't be afraid to reach out to strangers. Don't be afraid to build your business without your list. Now, yes, using your who do you know list, your contact list, your 100 list, that's great, can give you a head start. But your business begins when your list ends. That's what you really need to understand. Your business begins when your list ends, right? Are there more people in the world that you do know or you don't know? I'll answer that one for you. There's more people in the world that you don't know. So you need to be able to use methods that can get you in front of more people faster and create influence with those people. In my opinion, social media is the best way. All right, so yeah, mic drop on that one. If you're getting value throughout this live, please do feel free to either share it. Uh, let me know if you share it though. And I am actually gonna shout you guys out if you shout, if you do say shared. Heidi Chandler, thanks for sharing. Um, and if you do a watch party with this, which is super cool, put watch party and capitals in the comments and I'll give you an extra special shout out. All right. Um, number three, don't just add people and hope they accept, right? This, this frustrates me. I literally track every single person who does this to me. And I, I, I figured out more than 95% of people who send me a friend request send like don't send me a message right? 95% plus, and that's being fair, it's probably more like 99%, don't send me a message. That's like me going up to someone and saying, hey, go on, you, no, you say it, you say it first. What, say what? Like, hey, no, you've got to go to someone and say, hey, will you be my friend? Hey, I noticed you've got a great pair of shoes, be my friend. Hey, I noticed you have the same dog as me, be my friend. Oh, our kids are same, similar ages, we should be friends. You find someone, you add them or follow them or connect with them and then you message them. Don't wait for people. That's one of the reasons why people just, yeah, people are losing on social media because they're not reaching out. They're adding people and expecting and go, right, well, I can't send the message until they've accepted my friend request. That would just be weird. No, it's weird if you don't send the message before they request, right? Trust me, make that one switch and things will change. Tamara Novillo, shared, thank you for sharing. Andrea Levermore, thank you for sharing. Lisa Clare, thanks for sharing. Angela McNally, thanks for sharing. Emma Claire Petrie, thanks for sharing. Sarah Seymour, thanks for sharing. Mo Calendro, Calend Calderon, thanks for sharing. Sorry, sorry Mo. Brandy Avey Chambers, thanks for sharing. Charlotte Zamet, thanks for sharing. Zamet, thanks for sharing. Pamela Kent, thanks for sharing. Jenny Crookham, thanks for sharing. All right, don't expect your engagement to grow. This is the fifth one, the fourth one. I think the first one was don't be weak or desperate. Second one was do things a little bit differently to the old school methods. Don't be afraid to do it a little bit differently, right? Number three, um, obviously don't add and hope they're going to uh, hope they accept. Oh, they nearly scored. All right. Number four, don't expect your engagement to grow just by creating good content, right? A lot of people go, Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo! I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here. Actually, it's toilet time. I'm going to go to the toilet over there. I'm going to spend 15 minutes creating the world's best piece of content. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. What I've done is I've hired this professional photographer. They're gonna take loads of these great photos. I'm then gonna edit them. I'm gonna make this moving graphic and then I am going to hire a copywriter who is going to create the world's greatest piece of con copy. You do it and you get five likes. Instead of spending 15 minutes posting, spend five minutes creating the post and 10 minutes engaging. Telling you this now, the people who engage the most are the ones who get the most attraction, right? Not just the content. Yes, your content can help, but your engagement, that's how I got to the situation where I'm in. I was I'm replying to all the messages. I'm replying to all the comments. I'm going in. I'm giving loads of love. Am I doing as much as I used to? No, but I did the groundwork. I got my boots muddy first, right? If For those of you who don't engage, if you're watching this right now and you have it, I'm going to give you a step, an action step right now. If you're watching this right now and you want to go on, oh, if, you got, if you're watching this right now and you want an action step and you want to grow your engagement and grow your following, which in, in turn will enable you to and recruit more people, go, at, oh, go and comment on this live. Because if you're just watching and participating, you're going to be a passive user of social media and not an active user. Who do you think they reward more, active users or passive users? 
active users. Thank you very much. Social media, you've got to be social. Uh, if you haven't already done so, if you want to be the first to know about the second book that follows this one, it's going to be called I Double Dare You. They just arrived at my office in the UK. Click the link somewhere around this video. You will automatically be list, added to the secret first to know list. It's kind of not really a secret because it's up there, but only the people who watch this live and know what I'm talking about are going to be clicking that link. So you guys will be the first to know the first 1,000 copies that sell on the uh, kind of pre-order list. You'll hear about that very, very soon. Um, are going to be signed and numbered from one to 1,000. So that's cool. Right, number five, don't give the game away. Tell them everything but nothing. When you're doing your posts on social media, when you're speaking to people, tell them everything but tell them nothing is you telling them what it does but not what it is. A lot of people I see, I see on social media, they're going, hey everyone, I'm a part of Company X and this is exactly what you need to do. It costs this, it costs that, it costs this, it costs that. And people are like, okay, well let me do my own research. YouTube, Google, they go down this scroll hole of information. Three hours later, they're like, oh, this company looks pretty good. I, I like this. Where did I first hear it? The number of people, the number of people who say to me when I ask them, hey, how did you join Network Marketing? Why did, how did you join the company? And they say, oh, I saw a post on social media. And then I say, well, who, what was the name of the person? They go, oh, to be honest with you, I can't really remember. That is staggeringly high. Why? Because you're giving the game away and telling every, everyone everything they need to know for them to go and find someone else, go to the company, go to a top leader, whatever it happens, guys, it happens. All right, number six, don't forget the importance of your profile setup. Remember, your personal profile is your shop window on social media. If you've got photos of you drunk, you partying, you, you, know, you being immature, unprofessional, guess what you're going to attract? The party animals, the alcohol, well not the alcohols, the drunks, uh, the unprofessionals, the immature people. Set your profile up to best of your, go on! Oh! Set your, oh, so close. Set your profile up to best of your ability to attract the right people to you. All right? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, Facebook facelift, let's go. Uh, number seven, don't spam people a copy and paste message. Every time you do that, in fact, in fact, they, I have noticed actually, I don't know this, if this is like an official thing, um, but I have noticed that and sometimes when you go into the messenger, you're not actually able to copy a previous message that you sent and then paste it. You're not actually able to click and hold and then copy on some of the messages that you're sending. So they constantly, constantly are looking to stop you from copying and pasting. Yeah, if you're looking at the crazy reactions, the football is on right there. Liverpool are losing 1-0. It feels weird because we literally haven't lost a game this season. Uh, and yeah. Um, Jenny Crookham shared. Thanks for sharing. Brittany Ray Lynn Anderson. Can't wait to speak to you this week, Brittany. Shared. Thanks for sharing. Javier Gill. Thanks for sharing. Lian Seely Deru. Thanks for sharing. Sharon Funks. Thanks for sharing. Catherine Brown. Thanks for sharing. Sinead Edwards. Thanks for sharing. Jenny Whiteside. Thanks for sharing. Corey Edmondson. Thanks for sharing. Lisa Stewart. Thanks for sharing. Malcolm Dunnett. Thanks for sharing. Woo! Uh, Sharon Jacovides. Thanks for sharing. Charlotte Emily. Thanks for sharing. Elizabeth Gray. Thanks for sharing. Great chatting to you earlier, Elizabeth. Caroline Roberts. Thanks for sharing. Lindsay Martin. Thanks for sharing. Penny Ofsten. Thanks for sharing. Jodie Lee Pullman. Thanks for sharing. Emma Ridley. Thanks for sharing as always. And watch party! Yeah, awesome. Uh, uh, l -l 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 Natalie Layton. Thanks for sharing. Sally Hat Hat. Watch party! Yes, I love a good watch party. All right. Um, number eight. Don't say. Now, I've got to hold my hands up. This I can't root this back to anyone else. It probably was me, uh, and I'm slightly embarrassed for this one, but I remember 2009, 2010, I wrote on a piece of paper what I believed was the best script ever, and it went something, I didn't get any mentorship on this one. I wrote, hey, name, I actually just said hi, comma, I noticed we are like-minded individuals. So if you've ever seen anyone say, hey, I've noticed we're like-minded individuals, it probably rooted back to me in some way because I sent that message to, I think, 1,200 people uh, and no one said yes. Like, no one said yes. So don't say to people, hey, Cindy. I say, hey, Cindy, thanks for sharing. Whoop, whoop. Like, Hey, Cindy, uh, like, I noticed that we are like-minded individuals. You would be really interested in joining my business. Don't send the link to someone unless they've said they would like to see more information. Otherwise, that's spam. Spam, I'm going to write it out. Spam, 
stands for sending people annoying messages. Stop it. Sending people annoying messages. And annoying messages contain links. You know when you actually get those messages that come into your inbox and it's like, you, it's obviously like someone's hacked them. That's an annoying message, which is then spam. When you get sent a link saying, hey, hi, I notice we're like-minded individuals. I know where you live. I know where you're born. I know your name of your three kids and how old they are. Blah, 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 blah. Join my business. There we go. Five spots available. Like, come on, man. It doesn't work, Spammer Anderson, exactly. Right? Number nine, don't target network marketers. I know. I know, it can be fun recruiting a network marketer. Oh, well, they know all, they've got all the skills. I don't need to train them. They've got huge lists. Well, number one, their lists have already been used. So the credibility they've got with that list is probably reduced unless they've already got a team to bring across. What I've identified over the years of the industry, and I've been around it my entire life, is that when people move, the percentage of their team that moves with them is absolutely minuscule minuscule, like I'm talking less than 1% if you've got a large team. If you've got 100 people in your team, maybe it's going to be 10%. But it's, it's always the minority of the percentage. So here's the thing. It's like you going into a club. It's like for the men out there, or the women out there, let's go to the women's point of view. It's like the women go into a club and go, oh, come on, ladies. Let's go and find a married man. Oh, because he knows what he's doing. He's mature. He knows how to be in a relationship. Oh, wedding rings. Wedding rings, wedding rings. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is a nice wedding ring I spot over there. Come on, come here. Hey, I see you're married, but I'm way better. I'm just telling you, when you come back to my place, you and me, it is going to be a freak show, right? A good freak show. <laughs> I know, right? Good freak show. Let's go. Do you really want to do that? Do you really want to be a home wrecker? Do you really want to be known for that? Do you really want to poach someone? The only thing you can poach is an egg and apparently salmon. Uh, like people saying, a poached salmon, I never had that myself, but apparently you can have it. Don't go after network marketers. You're going to end up with egg on your face. You're going to look... I personally, I just don't like it. I would prefer to create and develop better and stronger marriages instead of breaking up other people's. Right? So, use that analogy if you want. All right, uh, 10, don't send 17.4 million audio messages. It's great sending them, like, oh, this is really great. Hey, yeah, I'm just out for a run. I just got this thing on my brain. And, you know, this is a, yeah, this is a great opportunity. And I think you're going to really love it. And da -da 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 send. Okay, sorry, I just, uh, yeah, sorry, that was, uh, it, the time ran out. So, yeah, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, the time ran out. So, 17 seconds into it. Oh, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, I'll send another voicemail. This is weird. No, 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 no. You've sent 17 minutes worth of voicemails. It's great sending them, but receiving them, not great. Here's a really, really weird stat for you. Don't ask me how I found this one or why I even searched for it, but sending two 30-second voice messages is better by 300% than sending one one-minute voice message. I'll say that again. Sending two 30-second audios is better than sending one 60-second audio. So if you need to, go bam, bam. If you need, if you're worried, oh, I send loads all the time, just think about what you're going to say. Blah, 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 let's go. Because if you're prospecting someone, right, and they're going to get like 13 different voice messages from them, are they probably, they're probably thinking, well, is this what it's going to always be like? That's like when you go out to a meal, you just go on your first date, right? And the girl across the, across the table for all your other man just chews your ear off for 17 minutes without you go. so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, whoa, do you want to get in a relationship with that person? Probably not, probably not. So just think about it, okay? Uh, let's give some shout outs again for those of you who shared. Hey, hey, John, how's it going? Jeannie Bryce, shared. Thanks for sharing. Jasmine Walmsley, thanks for sharing. Christine Dance, watch party, yeah. All right, Anne-Marie Moulton, thanks for sharing. Lisa Jane, thanks for sharing. Bonnie C, thanks for sharing. Always share your info. Thanks, Lisa. I appreciate that. Lisa Barker, Patricia Lynn Robinson. Has tagged someone. Terry Ann Davis shared to my team group. Woo, hey, team group. Hey, Karen, how you doing? Louise Spencer, thanks for sharing. Marianne Owner Pet Peterson, thanks for sharing. Nero Tina Marsh, watch party. Nice. Shara Fitzpatrick, thanks for sharing. Watch party shared. Yeah, Angela, thank you. Awesome. I love those watch parties. Jerry 
Stoyanova. Oh, cool name. Is it Russian? Shared. Thanks for sharing. De Debbie Mann. Thanks for sharing. Shared via messenger. Thank you very much, Katrina Kare Karevich. Emma Ridley. Watch party. Yeah. All right. Cool. I've got some more tips I want to share with you. So remember, guys, if you haven't already done so, there is like a VIP secret access link above for you to be one of the first people to order uh, the I Double Dare You book, which is the second book that follows on from this book. The first one's about recruiting. The second one's about duplication and getting people started. Strategy-based, systems-based. It's an absolute beast, obviously. Uh, I'm biased. Um, so click that link. You'll be the first person to know. The first 1,000 copies are all being signed and numbered. All right. Number 11 is an interesting one. Go on, Liverpool. Number 11 is an interesting one. Don't call it a business opportunity. Now, this is obviously, it's, it's kind of down to what your opinion is. But I believe when someone comes to me and says, hey, Fraser, would you be interested in a business opportunity? Straight away, I know exactly what it is. I know that it's probably going to be a network marketing thing. It's probably going to be one of those things. And that's all cool because I'm a big fan. But the public out there, they have this perception of, ah, uh, Business opportunity sounds expensive. What are you going to try and fleece me for? Instead, kind of shift things for an exciting project. Hey, I've got this really exciting project I think you'd crush. Would you be open? Or side hustle. Hey, I've got this side hustle that I think would, would complement your skills massively. Would you be open? Maybe an online business. Hey, I'm involved in this online business. Maybe you would like some information about it. I think you would crush it. No worries. If not, I just thought I'd ask. Right? So change your terminology a little bit. There's a lot of love on this, this, this live tonight. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Okay, um, don't say you do now. Ah, good one. Number 12. This is an important one. If someone asks you, hey, what do you do? Now, I am a huge fan of network marketing. Like, I love it when anyone comes and says to me, like, hey, so what is it you do? I'll say, I'm a network marketing professional coach, speaker, trainer. I travel around the world, blah, 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 blah. Guess what they do? They say, all right, okay. The conversation ends. And how I know this is I went, I, I get my hair cut here in Germany. Uh, it's always an experience. Like, it, it's just bizarre. Um, I remember doing it. The first time I went in, I went to Barber A. I never remember his name. Barber A. And he said, what do you do? I said, oh, I'm a network marketing speaker, coach, and trainer. He was like, okay, cool. Then it, the conversation went on to, like, who's your favorite football team? The next time I went in, I thought I'd switch things up. So I start, sat there, and he goes, so what is it you do? Oh, it was kind of broken English and German. And I said, I'm a motivational speaker. Whoa, really? Got, that, got the scissors away from my head. I was like, whoa, really? That sounds cool. Like Tony Robbins. I was like, yeah, not like Tony Robbins because he's like, woo. But that's kind of what I do. Yeah, I spoke in 32 different countries around the world, blah, 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 blah. He was like, that's the whole conversation was that. And at the end, he was like, hey, can I connect with you on Instagram and Facebook? I was like, what? So there's just this perception that people have. I believe be proud. When you're in a situation where you're in front of people and they can't like leave necessarily, right? So if you're at like a dinner party, say, oh, I'm a network marketer. Like, so you, they can see your physicality, your tonality, your expression, like you're excited about it, right? Because people can't read tonality when you're texting. So if someone says, what do you do? You would answer a question with a question. I help people make money on social media. Do you make money from yours? I help people realize, I help people realize their number one dream. What's your number one dream? Right? Say that, answer that. If you're in an elevator and someone says, hey, what do you do? I help people make money on social media. Do you make money from yours? No, I don't actually. Would you be open to checking out how I can help you? Uh, no, I'm okay, thanks. All right, see ya. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Right? Go give it a go. Terminology change. Mix it up. All right, number 13. Don't send a link unless you've prepped it first. All right, yeah, don't send Yeah, I've kind of used this one, this one, didn't I? Don't send a link unless you've prepped it first. If you've asked them, and you've told them, hey, I'm going to send you a link. It's going to be this, 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 this. You call with that. They say yes. Bam, you send it. Don't just send it first because otherwise that is spam, which is sending people annoying messages. <clears throat> okay, I'm moving at a million mile an hour here. Alison McCabe, Ryan, watch party. Daniel Swiger, watch party. Chloe Louie Ellis, watch party. Lisa Evans, shared. Pauli, uh, Paulina Magdalena, oh, Lojuska. Polish, shared, of course, thank you very much, you live in Runcorn, Paulina, that's very cool, it's only down the road from where my family live, so Scarlett Nicola Ware, shared, thanks for sharing, Ryan Osmond, thanks for sharing, Angie Hocking, thanks for sharing, appreciate that, and yeah, Pellegrin, thanks for sharing, Katie Fisher, thanks for sharing, Elizabeth Gray, watch party, yeah, awesome, uh, let's go, 
Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? All right, people are now going. Wow, there's so many people. Watch party, Charlotte, Ali, uh, Emily, watch party. I think people have shared it and then realised I go nuts when I say watch party, and then they've decided to do a watch party too. Kirsty, Go Kirsty Goodwin, thanks for sharing. Hey, 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 legends. Marty Thomas, thanks for sharing. All right, let's get back into it. Okay, um, number fourteen. Don't cry if someone doesn't respond to you. Right, if you if you, someone if you reply to someone that you send a message and like they're like yeah I'm really open and interested and you say okay cool well, I'm going to send you a link like when would be best for you to watch it they see the message and they don't reply like don't cry about it cry about what's going on and what you're thinking here's the thing right too many people worry about what other people think in reality you need to worry about what you're thinking. And what you're thinking is worrying about what they're thinking. And the reason why you're worrying what they're thinking is because that's what you're thinking in the first place. <laughs> right? Worry about what you're thinking, not what other people are thinking. If someone doesn't want to join the business, great. Congratulations. They would have probably been a, they'd probably been a diva anyway or a hard worker anyway. If you have to convince them to join in, you're going to want to, you're going to, want to convince them to go out eventually. Because they're going to blame everything. Well, you said it was going to be really, really good for me to join. And I only joined because you convinced me to do it. Okay. There's the door. Ciao. Right? Okay. Um, yeah, guys, if you do get value, please feel free to share. I am actually SE Prick. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate that. Um, blah, 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 blah. Ricardo Grant Lee, thanks for sharing. I appreciate you. Sasha Antherium, that sounds like a precious metal. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, Remember, uh, there is a link around here to be one of the first people to know about the launch of my second book, I Double Dare You. The official launch publicly is Tuesday the 3rd of March, 9 p.m. UK time for episode 150, which is exactly two weeks from now. However, if you click that link, you will know about it a few days ahead of everyone else and have the chance to get one of those one first 1,000 copies which are signed and numbered as well. All right, last few. So number 15. Don't spam into groups. Don't just join home work from home groups and go, and, hello everybody, my opportunity pays 37 different ways. It's a ground floor opportunity. In fact, it's a basement floor, flip basement floor opportunity looking up at the ground floor. We have just announced that we're launching into 17 different markets. <laughs> Great tackle! 17 different markets and we're looking for leaders. Did, did, did. Who joins them? I mean, maybe one out of a million people who join the industry join them. Give value, find a group, give value into a group, and then build relationships with people, right? You post in a group, you connect and engage with the people who are also engaging in the group, and then you ask and see if they're open behind the scenes. You sell in the messenger, right? You don't sell publicly. If you sell publicly, you will look bad. If you sell in the messenger, hey, it's all good, fair game, which you're not allowed to spam though, remember? No spamming alive. Allowed, right? Number 16, don't forget the importance of your existing friends list, right? Imagine if one a day for just saying, hey, I've not said this quote for ages, I've not said this idea for ages. Imagine if I was to pay you $1 a day just for you to say, hey, and every time you said, hey, to a friend, I was to give you $1, how many people would you go say, hey, to? $1 a day just for saying, hey, $1 a day just for saying, hey, some people are like, I'm worth way more than $1 a day. Yeah, you are. But it starts with a dollar. Then you add as they say, yeah, they say no. Another zero on the end. They say yes. Another is zero on the end. They build a team. Another zero on the end. Their team starts to duplicate. Another zero on the end. Now you're at $10,000. Their team starts to duplicate and you leverage that story into other groups. You add a zero on each other. That's $100,000. Then all everything comes together and eventually another zero on, the middle, on, your, on, your, on your number. That's a million dollars. One dollar a day just for saying, hey. So go to your existing friends list and say, hey, how's things? Hey, been a while, how's things? Hey, I noticed we're friends here on Facebook. We've never actually connected. We'd love to change that. How's things with you? I'm giving you just... I hope you're getting this. I hope you're really getting this. And I hope you're going to implement it. All right? Uh, ah, number... Number... 19, 18, 17. Number 17. Don't try and go overseas before you've left your own village. Right? Don't go overseas until you've gone, like, left your own village. Too many people come to me. If I was to ask all of you guys, I'm not going to do it now because I've kind of given the game away, but if I was to ask all of you guys, hey, where would you love to recruit? Where would be the, your most ideal location to recruit someone? You know what they say? Oh, 
the Gold Coast in Australia. Oh, Hawaii would be amazing. Paris. Rome would be fantastic. New York City. Ho, ho, ho. Morocco. I would love Morocco. Moscow would be amazing. Because they want to have teams where they're going to eventually like, go and travel to. Why don't they say their, their town? Oh, I want, I want to recruit people in Cologne. I want to recruit people. I, I, my ideal person would be on the exact same street. In fact, the person who lives in the house next to me. That's where your ideal person lives. Here's why. Imagine if you have a team. You're in the UK and you want, oh, I really want to have a business in Sydney. It would be amazing. Go on then. Do the weekly presentation in Sydney every week. Thursday night. All right, great. I'm going to fly in. That's £2,000. Thank you very much. Even if you just go in economy, right? £2,000, oh, and then £2,000 back, oh, here we go, and then, oh, that's taken me a day to get there, I'm there for two days, I'm jet-lagged, and then another day back, and then, oh, two days later, I've got to go again, jeez, this is, uh... no, you want to leave your front door, go to the next house, and go, bang, is that a good save, or does it do something, okay, this is not good, we've got 20 minutes to go, and we're, we're still losing here, it's not good, right, think local, start local, but, sorry, think global, but start local, all right, um, number 18, don't think you've blown it. Uh, don't think you've blown it just because you spammed someone. If you spammed someone a long time ago, use what I call the apology pitch. The apology pitch is, goes like this. And by the way, guys, I'm going to ask you guys one more time to share this if you're getting value. And then I am going to, if we can get it up to 580, I'll share what the apology pitch is. And in the meantime, I'm going to give you guys some shout outs because apology pitch is gold. If you ever feel like you've messed up, with one of your contacts before, you said the wrong thing, you felt it went really bad, it's a bit cringy, whatever, I'm going to tell you exactly what to do with that. Um, so Angela Avaletta, thanks for sharing. Howard Smith, thanks for sharing. Cambria and Naomi, thanks for sharing. Mike Allen shared, watch party, yeah. Gina Taylor, watch party, yeah. Danielle Swagger, watch party, yeah. Awesome. Uh, Emma Dickens, thanks for sharing. Gina Clark, thanks for sharing. Tara Paris Smiley, thanks for sharing several times. Nice, cool. Nathan Mard, head. I think that says shared. So thanks, bro. I appreciate that. Um, Jason Hamill, thanks for sharing. Lisa Barker, thanks for sharing. Sarah Morland, thanks for sharing. Nicole Smith, thanks for sharing. Gemma Waning, thanks for sharing, legend. All right. Gemma Barnes, thanks for sharing. Another Gemma, awesome. Nathan Marley then corrects it and says, shared, lol, thanks for sharing. Author Tabitha Matthias, thanks for sharing. Yasmin Walsme, thanks for sharing. Amanda Stanley, thanks for sharing. Carol Greenstein, Epstein, woohoo, Greenstein, Epstein, that's amazing, thanks for sharing. Heather Durkin, thanks for sharing. All right, cool. Right, we didn't get to 580. However, I'm going to do it anyway, right? I'm going to give, 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 give. Okay, so here we go. Don't try to think you've blown it just because you've spammed someone. Use the apology pitch. Is that goal? No. Oh, so the apology, oh, come on. The apology pitch is when you go to someone and you say, hey, Bob, I was just looking through the messages that I sent you and real, and it made me cringe just reading it back. Uh, would you forgive me? Question mark. That's it. Now, some people are just going to ignore you. Some people are going to go, yeah, sure. Then you, then you could potentially say to them, hey, like, since I last spoke to you, I, I've leveled up in my business. Things are going great. Uh, would you be open to having a look, another look now? Right? Give it a go. Give it a go. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, you were really unprofessional. Get lost. Okay. Bye. Blocked. Delete. See ya. Okay. Uh, number 19, don't forget to ask the question. Don't forget to ask. When you're building relationships with people, don't forget to ask if they're open. Instead of just building relationships. Now, I, I'm a big fan of building relationships, right? But it does take a special kind of person. It does take a little bit of time. Why am I, why am I a believer of relationship building? My dad built a relationship with me for 22 years before I put 300,000 customers into his business. Jeff Roberti, go and hear the Jeff Roberti, Lauren Lahav story. Jeff Roberti sent Lauren Lahav flowers every single year for 17 years before she said yes and then built one of the biggest organizations in network marketing, right? Like relationship building, I'm not going to say you've got to buy flowers for everyone for 17 years, but there's too many stories of long-term relationship building that allow you to actually go and do it, right? Now, does that mean you should just build a relationship and never ask the question? No. You build a relationship whilst you're asking the question. If they say no, you position it in a way where even if they say no, it's not awkward for you to continue on building a relationship. You connect, get to the point, or build a little bit of a relationship, ask the question, and then carry on from there. Okay? I appreciate you guys for sharing. It really means a lot. Oh, I can see you. Okay? All right? So, guys, that is the 19 different things that you should not do. Uh, or you stay away from, and also like what you need to do, and so on and so forth, right? So I do appreciate you tuning in. Remember, two weeks a day. Next week will be episode 149. 
The week after will be episode 150, uh, where I'll be announcing the launch, the public launch of the book, I Double Dare You, the ultimate guide to duplication, to getting duplication in your network marketing business. I am so excited about it. And the buzz and the buildup around it has been so amazing. What I wanted to do, for those of you who follow me, uh, and you follow my stuff, you appreciate my stuff, you value my stuff, you share my stuff, you support me, all of that. Maybe you've bought the first book, maybe you haven't, maybe you've been a part of the contest, whatever it might be. All you've got to do is you click that link above or somewhere around this video. It's like a, quite a long link. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add you in. You're actually getting notifications to say, hey, you've been added to the special list. Four or five days before the public launch, you will actually get special access for the chance to buy one of the first copies of the book. The first 1,000 copies are all signed and numbered, right? So you'll have that forever. You'll have the book. It'll be signed. It'll be numbered. One out of 1,000, two out of 1,000, three out of 1,000, four out of 1,000, so on and so forth. And I just want to say, as I always do, I really, really, really appreciate your engagement, your love, your support, your participation, those of you sharing it as well. Everything that I do, I, I genuinely would not do it if I didn't get the feedback from you guys. I just wouldn't. What, why, why would I? Um, I enjoy it. I get a lot of fulfillment from it, but it is genuinely you. And the reason why I'm going big on saying this is I've literally got to say this two more times next week and the week after. And then it'll be, for me, it'll be very emotional because I've done these now for three years and every single, every single one of these has contributed to the book. It's contributed for me speaking at Eric, on Eric Warre's stage, me becoming friends with him, me building a speaking career, me building the Ninja Network and me building all the different stuff. And yeah, I just want you to know that I'm, I'm, I really am grateful and I'll be grateful for the rest, the rest of my time. Um, so yeah, I do really appreciate it. So with that being said, go ahead and do that. I can't wait. Obviously, there will be a big announcement in two weeks' time outside of the book and stuff about what I'm going to be doing to help you guys grow uh, from, from a free value perspective. But yeah, uh, thank you so much. And those of you I couldn't say thanks for sharing to and thanks for doing a watch party. I'm sorry. There was literally loads. Um, we had over 15,000 love hearts on this live, which is, which is amazing. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next week. All right. See you guys. Love to you all. Ciao.